Hello everybody. We've come to that special time of year. What are we all looking forward to? For this special time of year, we have a special story from the Bible. The Bible is divided into two parts. The first part tells us of what happened before Jesus was born. And the second part tells us what happened after he was born. So today, we are going to look at the story of Jesus' birth. So, let's open the book and look at the first Christmas. Good news! said the angel to a girl named Mary. God is sending someone special into the world. He will be a great king. His name will be Jesus. And guess what? God wants you to be his mother. Good news, said the angel to a carpenter named Joseph. God is sending someone special into the world. He will rescue everyone from the wrongs that they have done. He will be God's own son. But guess what? God wants you to take his mother Mary as your wife and raise little Jesus as your own. Bad news. Sighed Joseph to Mary. The rulers of our country want to count us to see how many of our people there are. And to make it easier for them, we have to go back to our hometown. That means a trip all the way from Nazareth to Bethlehem and, and with the baby due so soon. Bad news, sighed the innkeeper, shaking his head. There's not one room left in Bethlehem. Oh, but seeing as the young lady's expecting and all, why don't you spend the night in my stable? Good news, smiled Joseph handing the baby to Mary. It's a boy, just as God promised. God's own son. There, in your arms. Jesus. called the angel to the shepherds on the hill. God has sent someone special into the world. There's someone you have been waiting for. If you hurry to Bethlehem, you can see him for yourselves. He's just a baby now, wrapped up warmly and lying in a manger. But one day, he will save you from all that is wrong. One day, he will bring you peace. Then the angels filled the sky with a good news song. The shepherds went to Bethlehem and made a good news visit. And on that very first Christmas day, Mary just watched and rocked her baby and smiled a good news smile. There are so many things to enjoy at Christmas. Christmas trees, presents, special food and parties. Why do we do all these things? Well, 
It's to celebrate the birth of a special person, and that person is Jesus. Now close your eyes for a moment and think of a time when you heard some good news. See if you can remember how happy you felt when you heard that good news. Now, I'm going to say a prayer, and if you want to make it your prayer, say Amen at the end after me. Dear God, thank you that Jesus came to tell the good news of your love for us. We pray that everyone in this school will have a really happy Christmas. Amen.